the MiG-27 fighter, which proved to be an ace attacker during the 1999 Kargil War, which roared through the skies for one last time today after serving the Indian Air Force uh, for over three decades. The swing wing fighter has been the backbone of the ground attack fleet of the Indian Air Force for several decades now, and the IF will give a farewell to its squadron of uh, seven aircraft from the Jodhpur Air Base. And that's happening as we speak. Vishnu Som with us for more on this. Vishnu, take us through the details. Well, the MiG-27 is uh, an attack aircraft of the Indian Air Force. Uh, one doesn't hear very much about it, but it's had a huge role to play in the Indian Air Force for the last 35 years. It was impacted in 1984 from the uh, Soviet Union. 165 of them were eventually built by Hindustan Aeronautics in India. It's an aircraft which is known for its swing wings. The wings uh, used to change positions according to the speed and the profile of the flight. It was a ground attack aircraft. Uh, it was uh, used um, extensively during the Kargil conflict for gun runs and for rocket attacks. Uh, it was extremely stable as a platform when it flew at very low altitudes. Uh, it was meant to penetrate into essentially Pakistani territory and air defenses using a combination of bombs and guns and rockets and to hit targets uh, on the ground. Uh, it didn't really have much of a chance against other enemy aircraft uh, in the air if it was intercepted, uh, but it did have, uh, it was reasonably fast uh, at low altitudes and it was extremely stable. And that stability was in fact essential for the operations it was designed around. By being extremely stable at low altitudes, it was a very good platform uh, for, uh, for rocket attacks and bomb attacks and, and gun attacks. It had uh, the most powerful cannon uh, of any aircraft in the Indian Air Force uh, to be installed, which was very useful in taking out targets which were hardened targets, targets like tanks or, or other, other targets uh, should uh, the aircraft have been engaged to, to target those. Uh, but the MiG-27 also has had its share of problems. It had a very high crash rate. More than a squadron of these aircraft would have been lost along with several fatalities um, of pilots since the aircraft was inducted in 1984. Uh, in 2006, a few of these aircraft, quite a lot of them, were in fact uh, upgraded by Hindustan Aeronautics. And the aircraft that you see flying now for the very last time are some of these upgraded variants of the MiG-27. Um, this upgraded variant, very, very much more capable than the old variant of the jet, which was acquired in uh, 1984. So with uh, the Indian Air Force now uh, number plating or in a sense uh, decommissioning for the moment, not just the MiG-27 aircraft, but also number 29 squadron in Jodhpur, which operates the jet, uh, it is very much the end of an era. No more swing wing fighters in service in the Indian Air Force. In fact, the MiG-27 will now remain in service with only one other Air Force, the Kazakhstan Air Force, that too in very limited numbers.